The first ever Naperville Frickenfest is coming in September. So our very own Ivan Summers headed out to find out what exactly a firkin is. A flavorful brew is contained within this cask with a unique name, firkin. It's kind of like a keg, but it doesn't have the same way of pouring it. Basically, it's a vessel for holding beer, but it's, um, it's traditional. The process to create a cask ale like that in a firkin is the same as brewing craft beer up until the final steps. We're coming out of, out of one of these while the yeast is still somewhat in suspension, adding a little sugar and then filling the firkin and closing it up. Then the yeast go, gets active again, it eats those sugars, a little more alcohol and then the CO2 and so it carbonates itself. The tapping and pouring process is also unique and contributes to its rarity as the beer in a firkin will go bad after it has been opened for just a few days. When you pour a firkin, you're pouring it via gravity. So what's replacing the beer as it comes out is air. Air oxidizes beer and it's basically what makes beer go stale. While its shelf life isn't long, the flavor contained within is smooth and distinctive to each batch. It's a little smoother carbonation, so you get a smoother mouthfeel. And it's also, the beer's alive, it's not filtered, you, there's still yeast in it, so your first taste of a firkin is going to be different than a taste in the middle and a taste at the end. And if you want to find out for yourself, dozens of area brewers will be bringing their take on the firkin to the first ever Naperville Firkin Fest in September. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Evan Summers. A firkin typically contains about 70 pints of beer.